Marvel Rival Codes have been sent out for console and PC, but there is some very important new information you need to know if you want to play in the beta, especially if you haven't received a code in your email yet. What did you do, Rag Nation? I'm back with Super News Bits to give you the latest superhero news in three minutes or less because I respect your time if you subscribe. So if this video was helpful, hit the like button so it reaches more people. But if it wasn't for you, change it to a dislike. We are about 24 hours away from the start of the Marvel Rivals closed beta, and I'll be live later tonight as the Marvel Rivals team will be doing a preview of the beta that will have gameplay and a ton of information. But today we need to talk about codes, which is going to be a hot topic during this entire two week beta period. Signups are already closed for both console and PC, so if you weren't chosen, you will still have the chance to play in the beta. Select content creators like myself will be given some extra codes to pass out to our communities, but obviously nowhere near enough to get in everyone who wants to play. If you have a friend who got in, they'll be able to generate one invite code once they reach level 6. But there is a new way being introduced to get codes that wasn't active during the alpha, and that's Twitch drops. You will be able to earn a code to the beta for the platform of your choice simply by watching somebody streaming Marvel Rivals on Twitch. But unfortunately, it's not that simple. First off, in order to earn a code, you'll need to link your Twitch account. There will be an option for this on their website, so don't worry, that part's easy. Then you will need to watch anyone streaming in the Marvel Rivals category for at least one hour. I'll be streaming the game every day during the beta on both YouTube and Twitch, so you can just search my Twitch stream or follow the links I provide. The event runs from midnight July 25th to July 28th UTC plus. NetEase is a Chinese company and I'm in the United States on the East Coast so for me that Twitch drop campaign begins on the 24th at 8 p.m. But the biggest twist is that it's first come first serve. Usually Twitch drops offer cosmetics that are unlimited but in this case everyone who watches will not be guaranteed a code. So you need to make sure you're watching a Marvel Rivals stream as soon as the campaign goes live. Once the codes run out, it will refresh again at the start of the next day, which they outline on this chart. When the Twitch drop campaign ends, that will leave friend codes and codes handed out by select content creators as the only way to get into the beta. If any other code giveaway events are announced later, I'll make sure to let you know. Marvel Rivals will be doing a panel at San Diego Comic Con this week, so it's likely we'll get a bunch of new information and reveals there about what they're planning. Speaking of Comic Con, it's going to be a big one for Marvel, but all eyes are on Insomniac after it was revealed the highly anticipated story DLC was not canceled like a lot of players feared. Click the video on screen to learn more. 